we take you to Mexico. There is a new image coming out uh, from a, a protest put on by pro-family forces. As the, uh, the, the nation of Mexico gets more friendly to same-sex marriage, protesters have stepped forward to, to step up against it. And one kid said, I've had enough. Let's take this photo. This is one kid who is protesting the protesters. That whole group is standing up for what they call pro-family values, which is against gay marriage. And this child said, no, I want to stop it. Now, a reporter thought maybe this kid just wanted to stop a parade. Maybe he's just randomly walking out there, putting his arms out. What a powerful image. Mm -hmm. um, but Manuel Rodriguez, a journalist, says, at first I thought the child was only playing. But when Rodriguez later uh, interviewed the child, he told the reporter, I have an uncle who is gay, and I hate hatred. Um, yeah, right now nine states in Mexico have legalized gay marriage, including the, the federal district. Um, and then I put together a list of countries where it oh, is legal in all or part of. Okay, well, we'll get right to, we'll get to that. But look at that. That's a lot of countries, including the United States. Way to go. Um, you saw this image. What was your first response to it? It's great. He's so young and he's so brave. It really evokes the image um, from 1989 in Tiananmen Square, I think where there's someone standing up to a tank, like standing in the way of the tank. It just, it's not exactly the same, I know. But it does show someone being very brave in the face of overwhelming force or overwhelming hatred, really. And this kid's only 12. When I think of when I was 12, there's no way I would have done this. I don't know if I'd have the ball to do it now. So it's so great that he stood up like that. I mean, think about what you were like as a kid or anyone, what they were like as a kid. You live in this, you know, in school, you feel such a pressure to, to fit in, to do what everyone else is doing, to be what everyone else is like. You have to have this certain kind of look. You have to talk a certain way. And then there's also, think about also being a kid. At what point did you realize some adults are just full of shit? <laughs> I realized way later than that child, so good on him. Mm -hmm. uh, and you brought up the list, uh, Brett, and I was actually, I looked at it in the other way. I mean, I looked at it as a reminder that often we focus on this discussion within the United States and, and how certain states are still so backwards, right? And they won't move um, with their views towards the LGBT community. And there's around 72 countries, I believe, that still have laws against those in the LGBT community. And this is a harsh reminder. Um, and that image, uh, although it was so powerful, as we know, like, there's nothing more powerful than innocence. And when innocence is faced in front of hatred, it just reminds you that hatred's taught. Like, it's not, you're not born with it. Uh, you're not born suddenly hating a certain group or anyone else. And when it takes a 12-year-old who his mind is still absorbing everything around him, he's still taking into account all these things that are going on in this world. And his first instinct is to love the, another person, regardless of their race, regardless of what their preference is just to love that person, like he loves his uncle, regardless of what his uncle's preferences are. And he wants to stand against people that don't see other people in that way, that see other people influencing their life. When it's a redundant argument, it's medieval, and it still plagues many different countries where they will hold, uh, again, medieval laws and different views that will hold people from doing what they want to do and allowing people the freedom to pursue what they want to do. And images like this, as much as it just looks like an image and people are like, well, how is that going to change? Like images like that are so powerful, are so transcendent. And that image we will consistently see shared across the internet, will be shared across the world. I'm positive in saying that five, 10 years from now, when we look back, if Mexico changes and, and still uh, and more states become open to this, that image will be the one that's at the forefront because it is innocent that is standing in the way of hatred. Right, and to call it like family values first, like, mm. you know, Frente Nacional por la Familia, it's like the national front for the family, I assume. Um, that kid is showing what I think is an even stronger family value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be the family value, you know, bear the banner of family values and then say like, I'm saying this is only okay for certain families. Yeah. And then another aspect of it, when you mentioned the Tiananmen Square thing, you did mm -hmm. point out it was different. And then I thought like, what, in what way is it different? And what I love about this, the difference in this one, is you know, all those people who are walking for the family mm -hmm. against a child who just wants his uncle to have rights, they're losing. Those people are losing. The tide in Mexico, it, you know, from what I researched, it's legal in the, in the federal district, it's legal in nine of the 31 states, that tide is turning, and these people are, are stepping out. Now, kudos to the people who are in the, the parade as well for finding, if not something that is fully loving, then at least something that's peaceful, a peaceful way to protest. Mm -hmm. 
So if I'm grading them on like a scale of like worst to the best, like yeah. it's this isn't the worst way that they could be communicating this. No, there but, could be a lot more violent ways to do it. But the the power of a picture is just just absolutely stunning, and you don't even see the kid's face. I hope one day it becomes like the the iconic picture of uh, the sailor kissing the nurse after the end of World War II, where we have this kid come out and we immortalize him. Because you're right, hate is not a family value. You, you never teach pe kids in in family movies or what have you. You know, let's learn about hate. Yeah. These people are different. Screw them. There's so much more Young Turks content if you're a member. Great shows like Aggressive Progressives, Old School, you'll get post games, all ad free, plus the whole two hour show. I know what you're thinking. This is huge. And it kind of is. So come join us, tytnetwork.com slash join.